is not clickbait. I am, in fact, being evicted from my apartment. To find out more about this story and answer a lot of questions that you probably have, please keep watching. Hey guys, Sheena here from She Walks With God, dedicated to living life on purpose, with purpose. Firstly, I wanted to apologize to you guys for not posting last Sunday. I actually did record last week and was editing and I got this news and just everything got a little bit crazy and hectic. So really sorry about that guys. Yes, it's true. I am being evicted from this apartment. I just wanted to preface by letting you guys know that I am not being evicted because of anything that I did. I didn't almost set the apartment on fire. I didn't have some crazy party. I've never missed a month's rent and I have never done anything to warrant getting evicted. I'm actually an excellent tenant. You can ask my landlord. So you might be asking then why we don't understand. This is an old building and there's basically some things that just need to be updated that aren't up to code apparently. News to me. They have to update a lot of things, electrical, plumbing, things like that. Things that take a lot of time and a lot of work and require for nobody to be living here in order for them to get done, which means that I have to go. That really, really, really stinks for a lot of reasons. So I actually have until December 31st to move all of my stuff somewhere else. And that's pretty crazy. Obviously I was not expecting this. This isn't something I think that you really prepare for. It's definitely not something that was part of my Plan. I really wanted to share this with you guys this week because everything that my blog and my videos are about has to do with walking with God. This is what that looks like sometimes, guys. I've actually lived here for almost three years. What's crazy about that is that in the last couple months, I finally got to a place where I started to kind of make this more my home and I got my blog going and started doing that, launched my YouTube channel, finally building this ministry and here comes this curveball. I started praying because I needed God to, to just reveal some of this to me. He's given me peace about it in a lot of ways. I'm not going to lie guys. It's not this magical thing that happens where now I totally understand God's plan because I don't still completely understand. Different people who know have asked me, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? And what's your plan? And honestly, guys, I don't know. I've just accepted that this is happening and I know that God is in control of my life. And I know that sometimes God, in order to get us to the next thing that he has for us, we have to go through a transition. And sometimes it's an uncomfortable transition. Sometimes it's an unexpected transition. That would be this one. I know that with everything that I'm doing and everything that I'm building right now, I'm right on the brink of God's promises for my life, but I have to be obedient and I have to keep moving in what God is asking me to. We get so close that we're right there. We can see it. We can almost touch it. We're right on the border of God's promises for our life, but it has to be at God's appointed time. It has to have his anointing on it when he tells us to. I just felt God putting that on my heart for my own situation that this is something that I have to move into. I can't fight it. There's going to come a time where God says, okay, now I want to give you all of the promises that I have for you. I want that so bad, so badly that I am going to do whatever God is asking me to do and I don't have to understand it. And that's true for your life too, guys. You don't always have to understand it. And he might be asking you to do something that is so uncomfortable and that you really don't want to do. You're like, Lord, I don't understand. I don't get this. This is my home. This is my space. I don't understand, God. Those are all really real things. It was a lot to take in. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Sometimes we think that this is awesome. We think that the things we have right now are amazing, but God has another plan for us and 
it's actually better. It's hard for us to be able to really understand at the time because you just want to hold on to this so bad. I want to hold on to this so bad. Because you think like, what if I never get this back, Lord? What if this is the best it's ever going to be? He wants us to have faith and to know that he can take this and he can multiply it to even better. I know how great this is. And to know that God wants to give me even better, I want that a million times more than I want to hold on to this. If anybody else is going through something similar or just a really big transition, wherever God has you, just stay faithful. I pray that you endure and see it through. In the next couple of weeks, you will see some different things behind me. Some things will be gone. Some things will be changed. I just ask that you guys stay patient with me during this time of transition. There's a lot of things to work out, but again, I will keep you guys up to date on what's happening. That's all for this week, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, She Walks With God. I will see you guys next Sunday. God bless you.